Mary, unless I find my cufflinks, we don't go to the party. And if we don't go to the party, I can never show my face in the office again. And if I can never find it- OUCH! Boys, boys, less noise, please. What, what, what? Now see here, Michael! Yes, yes, of course. Um, have you seen my cufflinks? Oh, Nana, for goodness sake! Where are those cufflinks? Yes, the gold ones. Good heavens, my shirt front! Yes, so I have. And hereafter... Don't pour me, Michael! This is my last clean... No! No! Mary, look! Wendy? Story? I might have known! Wendy? WENDY! Would you kindly exp- Wendy? Mary, if you don't mind, I'd- What have I- Oh! That's no excuse! Wendy, haven't I warned you? Stuffing the boys' heads with a lot of silly stories! I'd say they are! Captain Crook! Peter Pirate! Pan! Pirate! Poppycock! Absolute poppycock! And let me tell you, this ridiculous... Now, George! Now, George! Well, now, George will have his say! Mary, the child's growing up. It's high time she had a room of her own! I mean it! Young lady, this is your last night of the nursery. And that's my last word on the matter. No! No! Poor Nana. This is the last straw. Out! Out, I say! Yes! There'll be no more dogs for this mate in this house! Poor Nana. Oh yes, poor Nana. But poor father? Oh no. Blast it! Where is that rope? Oh, thank you. Dash it all, Nana. Don't look at me like that. It's nothing personal. It's just that... Well, you're not really a nurse at all. You're... Well, a dog. And their children aren't puppies, they're people. And sooner or later, Nana, people have to grow up. Safe? Of course they'll be safe, why not? Shadow? Who's Shadow? Oh, Peter Pan. Peter Pan? You don't say. Oh, goodness gracious, whatever shall we do? Sound the alarm! Call Scotland Yard! Oh, Mary, of all the impossible charges, fit or faddle, Peter Pan indeed. How can we expect the children to grow up and be practical when you're as bad as they are? No wonder Wendy gets these idiotic ideas. Oh, oh Mary, you know I never mean those things. Do I, Nana? Back? Lost boy. Ready? Neverland. Uh, uh, M? Oh, ho! Oh, wish. Well, my dear, all in good time. After all, perhaps we were too kidnapped. Oh, Mary, I'm going to bed. Now what, Mary? <gasps> <gasps> Nana, did, did you see? You know, I have the strangest feeling that I've seen that ship before a long time ago. When I was very young. How? Oh. For many moons, red men fight pale face to lost boys. Sometime you win, sometime we win. This time, no turning loose. Me, no spoof up. Where do you hide, Princess Tiger Lily? Heap big lie. If Tiger Lily not back by sunset, burn her at stake. How? Make Peter Pan heap 
big chief. You are now little flying eagle. Teach a pale faced brother all about red man. Why does he ask you how? <laughs> Blast that pizza pan! If only I could find his hideout, I'd trap him in his lair. But where is it? Mermaid Lagoon? No, we've searched that. We've combed Cannibal Cove. Here! No, 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 that's Indian terror. But wait. Those red skins know this island better than I do my own ship. Ah, I wonder. I've got it! Tiger Lily's me! The chief's daughter! She'll know where Pan is hiding. Oh, a little persuasion might be in order. Now let me see. Boiling in oil. Uh, keel hauling. Uh, marooning. Now let me see, where was I? Good form, Mr. Smee. Blast a good form! Did Pan show good form when he did this to me? I, but throwing it to the crocodile. That cursed beast liked the taste of me so well, he's followed me ever since, linking his chops for the rest of me. Smee! Oh, save me, Smee, please, don't let get me, Smee, please, don't let get me, Smee, Smee! Is he gone, Smee? Oh, Smee, Smee, I can't stand it any longer, I tell you, I can't! <laughs> <sighs> Get up, you idiot! Why, you blithering blockhead? What? What? Where away? Swog on me eyes, it is Pam. Headed this way with some more of those scurvy brats. Mr. Smee, pipe up the crew. Look alive, you swabs! We've got him this time, Mr. Smee. Man the long Tom, you bilge rats! I've waited years for this. Double the powder and shorten the fuse! Ah, oh, a pretty sight, Mr. Smee. We'll pot them like sitting ducks. All right, men! Range 42! Elevation 65! Three degrees west! Steady now! Steady! Now, my dear princess, this is me proposition. You tell me the hiding place of Peter Pan, and I shall set you free. Am I not a man of me word, Mr. Smee? You'd better talk, my dear, for soon the tide will be in, and then it will be too late. Remember, there is no path through water to the happy hunting ground. This is your last chance, Tiger Lily! Did you hear that, Smee? Stand by, Smee, while I take a look around. Spirit of the great sea water, is it? Mr. Smee! Release the princess and take her back to her people! Those are the orders, Mr. Smee! Odds fish! And just what do you think you are doing, Mr. Smee? My orders? Put her back, you blethering idiot! My orders of all the bumbling, Mr. Smee! Just exactly what do you think you are doing? I said nothing of the sort. For the last time, Mr. Smee, take the princess back to her people. UNDERSTAND! Oh, and one more thing. When you return to the ship, tell the whole crew to help themselves to me best rum. Here's your spirit, Smee!
Scurvy brat! Come down, boy, if you have a taste for cold steel! Let him have it! Well, come on, you idiot! Blast him! Hold it, you fool! No! No! Ah! I've got you this time, Pan. Ah! I'll get you for this, Pan, if it's the last thing I do! No! Oh! That cursed Peter Pan making a fool out of me. Ah, Oh, my head. Whoa! Why you doddering you imbecile? I did you say Pan has banished Tinker Bell? But why? Well, well... That's it, me. That's it! Quick, me coat! Me best dress coat! Ah, oh, yes, a jealous female can be tricked into anything. My case of hooks! If we impress the pixie, convince her we're eager to help her, the wench may chart our course to a certain hiding place. And where do you think you are going? You will go ashore, pick up Tinkerbell, and bring her to me. Understand? Yes, Miss Bell. Captain Hook admits defeat. Tomorrow, I leave the island, never to return. And that's why I asked you over, me dear. To tell Peter I bear him no ill will. Oh, Pan has his faults to be sure. Uh, bringing that Wendy to the island, for instance. Dangerous business, that. Why, rumour has it that already she has come between you and Peter. But what's this? Tears? Then it is true. Oh, Smee, the way of a man with a maid, taking the best years of her life, then casting her aside like an old glove. But we mustn't judge Peter too harshly, me dear. It's that Wendy who's to blame. Mr. Smee, we must save the lad from himself. But how? We've so little time. We sail in the morning. Sail! That's it, me. We'll Shanghai Wendy. Take her to sea with us. With her gone, Peter will soon forget this mad infatuation. Comes me. We must leave immediately. Surround Peter's home. Great Scott, you're right, me. What's that, my dear? You could show us the way? Why, I never thought of that. Take this down, me. Start at peg like point. Forty paces west of blind man's bluff. Yes, yes. Hop, skip at the jumper, cross Crocodile Creek. Then, north by northeast, one, two, three. We'll get on with it. Continue, my dear. I mustn't harm Peter, Madam 
Captain Hook gets his word not to lay a finger or hook on Peter Pan. Ah, Hangman's Tree. So that's the entrance to his hiding place. Thank you, my dear. You've been most helpful. <laughs> Shh! All right, men, take them away. And now it's me to take care of Master Peter Pan. Aye, that it would, Mr. Smee. But I've given me word not to lay a finger or hook on Peter Pan. <laughs> and Captain Hook never breaks a promise. A special offer for today, I'll tell you what I'll do. All those who sign without delay will get a free tattoo. Why, it's like money in the bank. Come on, join up and I'll be frank. Unless you do, you'll walk the plank. The choice is up to you. Peter Pan will save them, me. <laughs> A thousand pardons, my dear. I don't believe you're in on our little joke. You see, we left a present for Peter. Why, I can see our little friend at this very moment, reading the tender inscription. Could he but see within the package, who oh, he would find an ingenious little device. Peter Pan will be blasted out of Neverland forever. But time grows short. We have but 18 seconds. 15 seconds. 13 seconds. And so passeth a worthy opponent. And now... Which will it be, the pen or the plank? As you wish, ladies first, my dear. Not a sound. So, you want a splash, Mr. Starkey? I'll give you a splash! Who's next? It can't be! I'll show you this ghost has blood in his veins. I'll run him through! Ooh! Take that! Curse this hook! Don't just stand there, you bilge rats! Get those scurvy brats! Ooh! This is no mere boy. Tis some fiend fighting me, a flying devil! Oof! Fly, 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 you coward! Ha ha ha! You wouldn't dare fight old Hook man to man! You'd fly away like a cowardly sparrow! You mean, you won't fly? Good! Then let's have at it! Now! Insolent youth, prepare to die! You will do old hooky now, would you, lad? I'll go away forever! I'll do anything you say! I'm a codfish! I'm a codfish! Mr. Smee, 
be a good fellow and fix the plank. So I can make you walk off it! Funny!